Look at the hour. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, basically, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm trying to record the record uh, something now because I have a lot of shit to do today <laughs> and I wanna like put it out uh, fast, fastly not fastly I just want to be uh, I guess quick in my reaction <laughs> let's say um, shit. my tracking will be shit today because it's still not the morning the sunset is like in a few minutes <laughs> Uh, sunrise, Jesus. Uh, it's the da uh, it's the second day of the Oculus Connect Six. Uh, I wanted to uh, firstly, like you know, talk about OC Six and stuff like that. But I realized it's too big of a change overall to how VR world will be to what new they. Uh, they presented on the conference, on the keynote, uh, and it kind of changed it. It might change some things in in my channel as well. So I and I want to hear what Carmack has to say in the today's keynote on the second day. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So I think I told you I I want to do a video on. Uh, like a reaction on the on the OC6, but I think I will need to do some summary because it uh, is a little bit important actually uh, to the channel. Um, but today we will play obviously the surprise launch of all the second episode uh, of Vader Immortal. Actually, no one actually like expected that. No one, I think. Everyone kept asking where is the second episode from the past like few months, uh, but here it is. Surprise launch it was not even in the upcoming releases. <laughs> uh, there was a bunch of stuff that talked on the OC6. I thought it was a pure bloodbath in terms of Zuckerberg was just killing competition left and right uh, with uh, the announcements. Some interesting games, but uh, nothing too big to talk about. I think uh, the biggest uh, changes are the software um, updates and um, to the whole ecosystem of Oculus. But we'll talk about in the later video, and today we'll play Fire Immortal. <laughs> it's so crazy to think that uh, the first game I ever played in VR and on my channel is actually by the Immortal <laughs> uh, And it was barely like a few months ago. I could barely tell though So I'm pretty ex excited, but at the same time I have high, ho high expectations of it because the first one was so good. I I hope the second episode is even better I don't really have much time today, I have like only one hour to record and I think it, the gameplay will be like that, so we'll see. Okay, this is the same menu. Hmm. Now I know what everything means. I remember I was confused. Um, mm -hmm. Vignette is off. Camera shake, sure. Climb. Save climb. So full. Okay, so everything is pretty much custom. Oh, shit, wait. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so it says throttle, but it's just smooth. 
locomotion, move with left, yeah, play rotation, teleport with no direction adjustment, yeah, smooth turn, yeah, okay, accessibility, seated, uh, visual combat as is now, um, 360 combat, um, Okay, I think we're good. Mm, yeah, let's go. So we left off with that with Vader, I think. It was the point when we are gonna learn the. Uh, fuck, how it's called? <laughs> I'm so bad at Star Wars, I swear. Um, the bright star is hidden beneath us, somewhere within Lady Kovac's sanctum. Vader has the only key, but he needs a descendant of the <sighs> Here we go. Corvax? That creepy guy said you were a descendant of Lady Corvax. Is that what Violet meant about your bloodline? You will be able to unlock Lady Corvax's sanctum. What you seek is finally within your grasp. Yes, I will not right. be denied. You will help seize the Bright Star. I sense a latent force ability within you. I don't like that. Follow me and I will instruct you in its ways. Yeah, that's how it you finished. You need the force if you are to survive the path ahead. I get scared in every single. Maybe we'll. Maybe some. In every single, like, motion. Sudden motion. God damn it. Is it even the right. <laughs> Lady Corvax herself. Your ancestor. Like you, she was force-sensitive, but she was weak, crippled by sentiment. Take heed you don't make the same mistake. Mm. The force is more powerful oh, than you can possibly imagine. The force reveals mysteries that make the weak turn away in fear. If the force is truly your servant, I said. you can unlock the secrets of life. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Lady Corvax's devices could only be controlled by her or her descendants. Your blood makes you powerful, but you will need to learn the ways of the Force. Your training begins now. Please don't throw. Reach out your hand. Use the force to take control of this stone. Yes, I can sense the force within you. Focus. It is responding <laughs> to your bloodline. Use the force to place the stone. <laughs> I wonder. Okay, well, whatever. Let me try with the other hand. Get them. Uh, I can. Get 
them. Show promise, but you have much to learn. Defend yourself. Bitch. Now unleash the force and cast it away. <laughs> Come on. Training later. Okay. That's fun. <laughs> uh, I see the processing on my sides of my eyes, so I see what they did here with the uh, textures. What the hell? <laughs> mm. To you. Oh. My future descendant hearing me now, tread carefully. My husband received a mortal blow in battle. Desperate to revive him, I created a machine to harness the Bright Star, the Mustafarian's life-giving crystal. The machine created terrible destruction. Mustafar and all who dwell here paid for my transgressions. You, my descendant, may have a chance to heal what I want. I have hidden the Bright Star. Seek it in my husband's tomb. Use justly. It could be most of our salvation. Please help me. Hello. Lady Corvax did not understand what she created. With the power of the Eon Engine, I will become unstoppable. <laughs> That's so cool. Great presentation. Okay. You can move. Thank you. What? Now I'm at the same height as him? What's happening? The hell is this? What? Come here, bitch. <laughs> That's good. Your instincts serve you well. <laughs> Let us continue. There might be some tracking issues, but it's purely because <laughs> there's no sound, <laughs> there's no light. I just provide that from my thing. That's the same. Star. He must not succeed. 
I have glimpsed a terrible future where he controls its power. Worlds, entire galaxies will crumble in his grasp, surrendering their vitality in order to feed an right. insatiable hunger. Mm. I don't like that. Fuck. You must find the bright star before Vader does. Return it to the Mustafarians. Just don't Entrust it in the keeping. And perhaps <laughs> they can heal this cursed world. I don't like the touch. I have suspended time. But only briefly. You must climb. The tomb containing the bright star no. lies above. Oh my god. What? I am weakening. Go. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. that you had the force? I knew it! The moment I saw you with Vader, I knew you were special. Oh, you can summon the life current. I'm not gonna lie, Captain. I thought for sure you were toast. Oh, and check this out! Violet let me keep his totem. He deputized me. Which technically means I sorta of outrank you. Sorry, bud. Thanks to you, we are closer to the Bright Star than ever. Lord Corvax's tomb is near. I can show you the way, but we have to move quickly. Please. Vader must not get to the crypt before we do. Ugh, everything's hurry, hurry with this guy. He won't even slow down to hunt for loot. I've seen a ton, which I'd like to bring with me. Uh, uh don't snap at me. Fuck. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that is not a setup. It's obvious. Just wake up. This is not what's safe. What's this thing? A sentinel. They were left to guard this place. They have me say, Like you. I don't like that. 
I guess. We must move on. That door should be a way out of here. I don't want to be last. Nah. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit. <laughs> I am hiding. Can pass. Oh. I 
Lucky means you, Captain. I don't even have blood. I'm cute. <laughs> okay. So. Another. Wait, what's that? Just me? How dare you? Okay, well. Guess I'm alone now. Hello? What the hell? I've been waiting for you. Return the Bright Star to the Mustafarians. They may be able to heal the damage done by Lady Corvax. My Lady Corvax. She tried to save me from death. I was cursed. Trapped between this world and the next. Take my light sword from the statue. It will unlock the bright star. Return the bright star to the Mustafarians, and I may be freed from this curse. That's such a cool, such a cool lightsaber. It really reminds me, like you know, the heroes of my and magic, like from the Capital Project, because it's very an angelic. Sure. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> How convenient is that? This is not convenient. <laughs> Just Jesus Christ. I passed you. Oh, you got your bright star. Oh well. And you're welcome, by the way. Once we get our ship back, let's get out of this hellscape. Uh, yes. We'd better get going. Just go. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh. Hmm. We need to go back there. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know about that. Hmm. 
Wait, what are you? Do you think the priestess is gonna meet us here, or what? What do we do? <laughs> Thank you. I am sorry. Sorry? What? Awesome. Give me that. Am I right, Captain? Give me that bitch. Star. Now that he has it, he will leave us Enough. Did you think you could become my apprentice? You were able to an end. But now you have outlived your usefulness. I didn't do shit. They made me. Am I still like you know? Jesus Christ, Captain. That better not be violent. Please. Well, at least no. the, this one still works. Us. You betrayed. Everyone on Mustafa. I, I thought if we rid the planet of the Bright Star, we would finally be free. But now I see that the only path to freedom is to work together. To get the Bright Star back. We can <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Get out. No, no, no. Shush! Shush, 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 shush! in the thing Ah, oh, here we go Okay Get out Fuck Damn it I hate him. Who knows? Maybe the door will open for your royal blood. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Come on. What? You lost the 
Sleeper guide your spirit along the river of stars. Hello. Veda won't waste any time activating the Eon engine. <laughs> when he does, he will destroy what little life still clings to our planet. Only you can face Vega. Our only hope is to attack what? this castle. <laughs> Wait, you want us to take on the entire garrison? We need an army for that. You have ah. I got them. <laughs> yeah, okay. I kinda knew it was uh, it's gonna be the end. <laughs> um, I somehow I feel like it, maybe I was like playing um, fastly or something, but I feel like it was uh, a bit shorter than the first episode. But in, it introduced new things, so it was uh, not just you know fighting with lightsaber. I barely used lightsaber because it was. I don't know, I guess I was like too scared to uh, fight with the monster with lightsaber. I was just like... Just like... Uh, um, but yeah, it was the second episode. Um, really cool mechanics because uh, the force is a cool mechanic to introduce into the VR. Uh, especially if we're talking that uh, because now I I passed the first keynote of the um, of the you know Oculus Connect uh, the ha the hand tracking that today will be ship should be cut out in early uh, 2020 and uh, I feel like it will for the third episode of the Vader Immortal, it will be ready and it will be interesting to see how without a controller you will control the force with your hand. That's gonna be amazing. Um, if it was better than the first episode, it was more immersive than the first episode because the first episode was all about kind of like, you know, locomotion and just like kind of like getting to know the movement around the ship, wherever we are now, or the planet. Uh, here it was more combat based and more about the force, which was kind of expected. Um, yeah, I feel like it could be a bit longer, just a little bit, because it seemed like it was all about the force and fighting this beast. I got scared too many times for my liking. That's why I don't want to play horror games because I would just faint and that's it. <laughs> um, especially now that uh, the Vidmo VR, um, my lenses, because I don't see well, I have glasses normally, Vidmo VR lenses just came yesterday. So now I see everything clear clear uh, so it's more immersive for me because I can actually see stuff um, other than that I I mean it was I guess worth it waiting a few months but at the same time I feel like it could be done faster because I mean with a seasonal games we know what was who was the king which was Telltale on the PC. Here it's kind of like a really long development process, but at the same time, it's more about cinematic 
uh, experience at, for a Star Wars rather than a straight up game, right? Because you do the combat stuff, you do the force, you do the like interactions, but feels like you are in a cinematic film and you are the main character. It doesn't feel like it's a real game. Do you know what I mean? Um, which is fine because it just caters to the to everyone pretty much because people who don't enjoy games should enjoy this game because it's more in a film setup rather than straight up um, game, right? I mean, then kind of we need to consider what is a game and uh, and what's the meaning of that. <laughs> Uh, wait, now that you finished the story experience, make sure to try the lightsaber dodger too. Okay, yeah, because I, I remember I spent far quite amount of time in the first dodger, in the first episode. Um, I saw they upgraded it in the second. Uh, let's just see real quick because I'm not sure what time is it and I don't want to be late <laughs> for the meeting. Let's just see how the graphics look, or like the mechanics of lightsaber dodge of the second. Just really quick. Uh huh. So, what's that? Okay, okay, okay. It's in the setting of the forest, which is interesting. You can throw like say, bro. Interesting. Let's just see the first. Um, Use your innate ability to you eliminate know. free vermin. First stage. So let's just throw that. Alert! Infestation detected. Exterminate all targets to continue the treatment. You can throw that, which is fine. Not interesting. Quite. Not quite. Okay. So I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, it's eight thirty. I need to go. Um, <laughs> so I'm sweating. Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, short but you know it's uh still the the biggest game of oculus so far and i was really pleased to see that it was a surprise launch because um many people were interested in the second episode and no literally no one expected that so you got us girls uh oculus um I'll try to record the the OC6 summary and channel update tomorrow because I want to hear uh, what Karma has to say to, today and tomorrow I'll try to do the whole summary. Um, other than that, um, I don't want to say my stuff still, <laughs> but clearly there are some things prepping us, prepping up. Uh, for everyone um, and this one is is interesting <laughs> Does, uh, let's just say that um, yeah we'll see and I'll, I'll see the next um, video yeah <laughs> whatever